We set our limits by ourselves, uh, but we are strong enough to aim high, to reach our goals. All we have to do is just to find our strengths and to know uh, how to develop it. These are words of a truly brave man, known worldwide as the uh, French uh, Spider-Man, Alan Robert. He inspires people, hundreds of people, thousands of people, millions of people around the world, uh, showing how a person can develop his talents, how he can uh, push his limits uh, to, uh, to the new uh, records. Uh, Alan is an urban climber who scaled 85 uh, 85 giant structures without any safety devices, uh, including the tallest skyscrapers such as Opera House in Sydney, Petronas Twin Towers in Malaysia, uh, Federal Tower in Moscow, uh, New York Times Building, and many others. During his climbs, uh, Alan faces enormous challenges. First of all, authorities uh, don't uh, give normally permission for for his climbs and he gets arrested as a result at the end of his climbs. For example, in 2007, in, uh, uh, after climbing the Jin Mao building in Shanghai, uh, he was arrested and jailed for five days uh, uh, before being expelled from China. Uh, second, it is weather, weather conditions. Uh, for example, while uh, scaling uh, uh, 110 floor Willis Towers in uh, uh, Chicago, he, uh, a, fo a fog uh, set uh, covering uh, the glass and metal walls uh, of the last 20 floors of the building and uh, with the moisture, moisture making, uh, uh, making walls dangerous and slippery. Uh, although uh, the climb became uh, really tough and uh, challenging, he overcame uh, these difficulties and reached the top. Some I think that uh, Alan's way to mastering climbing was uh, uh, really easy, but the truth is just the opposite. At the age of 20, he uh, fell while climbing uh, the rock and uh, sustained serious injuries. Uh, he uh, went into coma and uh, had uh, uh, six operations. The doctors, doctors considered his 60% uh, handicapped and uh, said that uh, he would never again uh, uh, be able to climb. However, within uh, six months, uh, he returned to climbing and uh, uh, took more and more challenging uh, climbs uh, again. Uh, so far, he fell six times, and always he um, found strength to get up. Alan inspires uh, not only with uh, how he conquered his challenges, but also what messages he makes to uh, the world while climbing uh, the tallest skyscrapers. For example, uh, last year uh, during uh, the meeting of G20 uh, leaders, world leaders in New York, uh, Alan climbed uh, Lloyd's building uh, and hung a banner with the following words, 100 months. We have less than 100 months till our climate reaches the tipping, uh, the tipping point, the point of no return. Uh, global warming uh, already kills uh, uh, more people than 9-11s every week. And this is just one example of uh, his social responsibility and uh, uh, his environmental protection actions. All right, another outstanding uh, person who, who is uh, really passionate about uh, uh, pursuing his dreams and uh, developing his talents is uh, Philippe Petit, the high wire artist. In 1974, uh, Philippe uh, made high wire walk between uh, twin towers uh, of the World Trade Center in New York City. At that time, Philippe Petit uh, walked wire for 45 minutes, making uh, eight uh, crossings and uh, a quarter mile above uh, sidewalks of Manhattan. We went to ask uh, uh, why these people, why these daring people, 
risk uh, their lives pursuing their goals. What for? The best answer is the words of uh, Alan, Alan Robert. Once he uh, said uh, to a journalist who asked him whether he is crazy, he said, uh, I, think, uh, I don't think I'm crazy, but uh, who I am to judge? Uh, what I can tell you, just what I think, and I think that uh, there is only one crazy thing in life, life, and that is not to pursue your dreams. Unfortunately, we refuse our dreams that require, require 100 times less risk and effort, comparing with the dreams of these two daring men. Dear ladies and gentlemen, let's find our passion. Let's be brave to make our dreams true. Let's say yes to our inner drives.